Taurus is with a special love reading for people um, who identify um, or, or find resonance with the Taurus tribe, whether you are here because you have a Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Taurus rising, or Taurus Venus. Um, I welcome you to the table now, Taurus people, and um, I look forward to seeing what messages come forward for you um, as you move forward in life um, as a solo journeyman who is looking to connect in a romantic way um, with someone who can um, fit with you um, in a healthy and holistic way in your life. So let's go ahead and start. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started with the current energy now. Current energy for this group of single Taurus people. Current energy now for this group of single Taurus people. Current situation. Current situation for Taurus. So we start off with the Nine of Pentacles. Next to the Nine of Pentacles is the King of Wands. Next to the King of Wands is the Knight of Wands. And then we have the Four of Cups. So these are the energies we see here. So digging into the Knight of Pentacles now, um, we do have a feeling uh, within this group of Taurus people of a new sense of independence, um, a sense of health and vitality in, in the self. Um, this is a group of people who have come come a long ways. Um, when we are in the Nine of Pentacles energy, that means that we have found a certain degree of um, freedom, um, not only freedom as far as the rules go, but freedom as far as financial um, financial abilities to um, enjoy life in a new way or in a very, um, in a way where uh, we feel um, a, a sense of peace, a sense of relaxation when we spend. So this is a group of people who has found a certain degree of success in their lives and are enjoying the, the freedom um, that that gives them. They are able to really um, hold their own now. They can hold their own in a crowd. They can hold their own in a workplace. And when I mean they can hold their own, they can stand up for what they believe in. They can speak their voice. Um, they can make decisions for themselves that um, are in their own best interest. And they um, really um, find ways to make decisions that are um, good for themselves. So it's, it's harder to sway um, a Nine of Pentacles person. It's harder to um, get a person in the Nine of Pentacles to agree to something that they ultimately don't want to do. Um, this is not a, an energy of obstinance or of stubbornness, but it's an energy of really truly know, knowing what is good for you and what is unhealthy for you and making choices that um, really resonate with you as a person, spiritually even, and in an emotional way. Um, and, and I feel like there is a sense of stability around you, Taurus. So this is a group of people who have stability. Um, notice it's a nine, not a 10. So um, they have reached a certain level of um, success to, that have met their own goals. So each and, each and every one of you could have a different set of goals. You know, you could all be in a different financial place and still feel that you're in the Nine of Pentacles. Remember, a Nine of Pentacles is a... Um, it can be a perspective. It can be a feeling. It doesn't have to be um, a certain amount of money um, because a thousand dollars is going to mean something different for every one of us. A million dollars is going to seem something different to each and every one of us. So it's it's a perspective of the nine of pentacles rather than a, a number. Um, but it does leave you with a, with a sense of independence and an enjoyment of your reality. You are in the King of Wands energy, this group of Taurus people. So you're you're busy. You are creating something for yourself. You're out there in the community. You're out in your environment, and you're going to work. Um, the King of Wands is is an energy that helps you to step forward into new journeys, into new, um, into onto new canvases, onto blank canvases that you build on. Um, it's a very energetic um, space to be in. It is. Um, um, a, 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 it is a space in your life where you're really able to step into new frontiers. You, you can step through fear quite effectively within the King of Wands energy. Now, you could be um, very um, communicative and you could be able to be very encouraging with people and charismatic where you have a way with people. Um, you could even have a way with invention. You could have a way of getting things done. It could just feel like everything is going your way um, in the King of Wands. And that takes a lot of energy, Taurus. So you could be um, really, uh, um, it's, it's, it's not a fuel efficient way of, of operating the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a gas guzzler, right? So you're, you're, um, mile per gallon is um, low, 
but you can sure get a lot of work done. You can sure make great strides, right? So there is, um, um, you might be needing a lot of rest. You might be looking um, for diets that are healthiest for you. You might be making sure that you um, do some form of exercise that helps build your core strength because the king of wands moves forward from core strength, from the abdomen area, from the fire center of the body. Um, and so, uh, and the, being that you're in the king of wands energy, um, that means that you are, um, you are tired at the end of the day. So the king of wands gets up, he really pushes forward. He does, he accomplishes tasks that are um, very, very difficult for most people to do. Um, not everyone can be in the king of wands and Taurus, um, it's not typically an energy that we really can find you in a whole lot of times um, because it is very fiery, it's very passionate, and it's bursting energy. It's an energy that will burst out, it will get a lot of things done, and then it will fade away again. So you could be finding yourself at the end of the night being very tired, needing to eat a lot. Um, because remember, you're, you're in a gas-guzzling stage. So um, if you can just think of yourself as a... Um, um, a a, um, a gas guzzler um, because you're working hard. You're, you're using a high amount of horsepower to get this done. It takes a lot of core strength to move into new frontiers and to start new paths and to build and design and present and perform. These kinds of activities um, require a lot of energy. So um, if you're needing a lot of energy, if you're needing a lot of sleep, if you are feeling like you're needing to eat more, and you might be craving a certain amount of food or a certain kind of food, just understand that when you're in the King of Wands energy, especially if you're a Taurus and you're in the King of Wands energy, um, this is going to require um, more fuel for your body. Um, and again, you're moving forward in this very passionate way. So um, I'm not going to stay too long in the Knight of Wands because I've been explaining how the, the King of Wands moves forward and the King of Wands moves forward naturally um, in the Knight of Wands energy. Um, there could be a king of wands around you. So if you weren't identifying with that feeling of being an inventor and to going out and being um, very powerful in the community, being a leader of the community, there could be someone around you that is that is in that kind of energy. So this could be a person. You could be a feminine energy in the Nine of Pentacles, and there could be a masculine energy around you uh, moving quite passionately towards you. Um, the Knight of Wands energy is an excited energy. It is a robust energy. Um, it, it comes in very quickly in, in a very enthusiastic, very passionate kind of way. Um, so you could have somebody approaching you very passionately. Um, it's, it's going to be very dramatic kind of an energy. So you will know if this is what you're dealing with. You will know if this sounds familiar to you. Now, it's, it's always um, good when the Knight, when the King of Wands moves in with the Knight of Wands energy to make sure that you keep your strength. If this is your dynamic, make sure that you keep your strength. Remember, um, if you're the feminine energy here, um, because it's like we have two feminine energies and then we have a masculine energy here, um, knowing that the roles can be reversed. Females can be in the, king, in the masculine energy and males can be in feminine energy. So it's kind of up to you to say, okay, I think this person is this and I'm this, you know, because these energies are here. It's for you to kind of identify where you fit in this or if you even fit in this. But remember who you are. If you're the feminine and there's a masculine energy coming towards you, I'm um, quite passionately, quite strongly. Remember who you are. Remember how you got to being where you are. Remember that you can make careful decisions for yourself. Remember that you can stand on your own. Remember that you have enough resources to be um, safe in your life. Remember all these things about yourself. Because sometimes when the King of Wands comes in, you can really get pulled into that hurricane. Right. And that's very attractive kind of energy. It's fiery, passionate kind of energy. And it can really pull, um, pull energy towards it. The King of Wands is very charismatic and, um, it's very persuasive kind of energy. Remember, let's not be too hard on the King of Wands. The King of Wands can create. The King of Wands can build. Um, just like the King of Pentacles makes decisions about long-term financial wealth, the King of Pentacles can go in and build the dang thing. Right. And we need to have the King of Wands. I mean, the King of Wands can go in and build the dang thing. And we need to have the King of Wands in our lives, in our cities, in our states, in our countries, in our families, because there's something very vital that the King of Wands does. Can the King of Wands get really excited and, and pull you along into a situation that you might not be prepared for? Absolutely. 
Absolutely, they can. They can pull you into an, into an adventure that might be the best time of your life. They can pull you into an adventure that might be super overwhelming for you as well. So it's important to remember who you are and to continue to live as you are so that you can make good decisions for yourself. I'm not saying this is going to be a bad, bad situation at all. I'm just saying that each of the kings and queens and all of the energies in tarot have um, positive and negative attributes to them. Uh, but we do have the four of cups here. All right. So this is what I mean. There, there could be a situation here um, that you're just not super excited about. Whether you're the king of wands energy or the king of wands is another energy around you. There is something here that you're not too excited about. Perhaps this energy um, is something that you've already been in or something that you've already experienced and you're not sure. You're not sure because there's multiple cups here and you're kind of sitting there like, well, man, I don't know which color is my favorite. I don't know which flavor is my favorite. You could be even thinking, I mean, I just feel like I'm ready for something new. I feel like I'm ready for a new kind of experience. You know, or this person could be coming from behind as well. Maybe you don't see this person coming towards you if this is a person. You could be looking at other experiences. The cups don't have to be rom romantic situations. They can be what you're um, putting your time and effort into, something very emotional for you. Could be family members, could be um, um, projects that you're working on. It could be pretty much anything, but any, but but these situations here have to affect the heart center at some, at some way. Maybe not this one, this cup looks like it's not quite full, but these two cups are full, right? They're, they're, they're overflowing. And you could be even putting, it almost feels like water from this lake is flowing into the cups. Water from your heart is flowing into the cup. So you could currently be putting your emotion into a couple of other things in your life. And this person could be coming in quite passionately, or you could be moving forward passionately towards something. And um, you could be realizing here that the that the, the situations or the people that you're um, investing your emotion into might not be something that you ultimately want to continue doing. There might be a change here that you're considering. Uh, so, so there's a couple of different, um, scenarios that I see coming out here, um, in the current situation. So let's go ahead now and move forward and see how this pans out as you move into, um, maybe the next two or three weeks here. So we're looking at, at the, um, really maybe through the two thirds of the month of April or through the month of April, maybe for, for the next incoming future in the extended reading, I'll look out a couple of months farther down the road. So let's see here what's here for the next incoming for the next incoming wave of energy. The forecast here in love for this group of Taurus people. Forecast in love for this group of Taurus people. Forecast in love. Forecast in love. Wow, look at this, Taurus. See, you are in this very passionate go-getter kind of energy. Something very exciting is happening here for Taurus. Something very exciting is happening here. This is a love reading. So this is a group of single people here who are experiencing some. <sighs> well, I think this is a group of Taurus people who are perhaps experiencing. Well, they're ex definitely experiencing something exciting. Um, so let's go ahead and get it, get into this now, Taurus. So you, you start off here with the eight of wands and I'm going to dig deeper into these energies. That's something I'm doing in this, in the general readings now. Cause I, cause personally, I think it's super fun to do that. Um, so we have the eight of wands energy here. This is an energy of fast movement. This is an energy of communication. This is an energy of um, moving forward into the future, taking action and moving things forward. Um, you could be really, um, having a lot of things that you're doing at once. You could be doing several different projects at once. You could com be communicating with several different people at once. Um, it doesn't really matter exactly the details. All I know is eight of wands is a passionate, um, energy. It's a promising energy. It's a enthusiastic energy. It's a brave energy. It's a passionate energy. And it's all about movement and moving things forward. Um, so however that's happening, there is movement forward now, whether it's in communications by the internet or whether it is um, visiting someone or, or just being very much active in, in the life around you, going here and there, doing things, talking, 
messages coming back and forth. I know many of us are pretty much stuck at home, um, but um, I, I'm just going to read these energies and feel these energies as they're coming out. Um, because this is, um, in a way, this is sort of a, a fun way to get out of our environment and into the energy that tarot can bring us. So um, I'm trying to forget really what's going on in my world around me and just getting in these energies for you. Um, so we have an energy here of passion and fire and fast movement, excitement, um, enthusiasm for life. And it, there's a kind of a free spirit here where there is um, where you might have been reserved and holding back before. Now there's just like, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Whatever it is, it could even be a job or a new hobby or um, whatever. Let's go for it. And then you have the six of wands where you're actually going for it. So um, this could be you or this could be another person, but this is um, this is coming forward. This is moving forward, um, realizing that this might be something you've not done before in this way, but understanding that you have the capacities, you have the skills, you have the natural abilities to really move forward in this experience. Um, this is something that is being seen. In fact, I, I don't feel, I feel like there is really a, an a uncaringness or a, there is of no concern about hiding this. This is something that's very free and open. Um, it's something that people are seeing and it's something that people respect. It's something that's inspiring to other people's, to other people. This is being a leader in something. And now this could be a relationship. It definitely could because we have a page of cups here with the ace of swords. Um, whatever this is, this is moving forward in a big way for you. And, um, I, I feel like it's you. It's the same energy that you, you know, it could be that this King of Wands, if you have a King of Wands in your life, that it's not you, that this King of Wands is doing the communicating and this King of Wands is moving forward. Okay, so it just depends on how you resonated with the current energy. All I'm saying is this King of Wands with the Knight of Wands is resonating with these two energies here. So whoever the King of Wands is, is doing a lot of the action here. Um, so it just depends on how you are really fitting with this reading. We have an Ace of Swords here. Okay, we can't deny that there's an Ace of Swords here. This is some sort of decision. This is um, an, an epiphany. This is truth. This is something that is no longer can be denied. This is something that no longer can be um, not seen. Okay, so there, there is something here that is happening that is clearly one thing or the other, right? Where you thought before, ah, that job's not for me. I just don't see myself there. And I just don't know if I can do it. Or I don't think they're interested in me. Or if this is a person you say, yeah, that person's, you know, was flirting, but I just think that's the way that person is. I don't think that person cares about me or whatever. There, there's no more of that. Whatever the truth is, the truth is. And um, you, you see that now as you move into the future. We do have a page of cups here. This is new love. This is new inspiration. This could be a love message that comes forward or uh, messages uh, of meeting someone new, perhaps um, getting to know someone. Page of Cups could be someone a little bit younger than you. It could be going out on a date. It could be just getting to know and going to coffee. And I know that we, a lot of us can't go to coffee right now, but the Page of Cups is like a um, an introduction kind of energy. It's an introduction, younger. Um, it could be slightly shy with the Page of Cups. Um, it could be a, um, a very emotional, shy kind of energy. Um, it could be someone that has been a friend before. Could be, I'm not saying it has to be. Let's dig deeper now. These are very exciting energies. Let's dig deeper now. Um, tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands, please. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. Judgment. Some kind of big change here, two of swords. Well, this is where the truth comes in. So there's messages coming, going back and forth, or there's something here that's happening that is clearing up the situation for you. Um, this could be even clearing up the situation for the king of wands, whoever the king of wands is. So there's something here that's happening that's changing the situation. It's like where the gate was closed before, now somebody's pushed the button and the gate's open. Or where there was a situation that couldn't happen before, something has resolved itself. So now there's movement forward with the judgment energy and the two of swords. And now we have the ace of swords. So whatever wasn't being seen or wherever there was confusion now, something happens here that creates 
movement. And now there is no longer denying whatever this is for you. Okay. Let's look at the six of wands. Let's look at the six of wands. Ten of swords ending a period of time. That was really a difficult king of pentacles. King of Cups. You could be ending something. Now we have two kings here. You could be ending something with um, one person and starting something with another. You could be moving from one job to another. Um, tell me what the King of Pentacles has to say. So let's dig deeper into these two energies here. Tell me what the King of Pentacles has to say. What does the King of Pentacles have to say? There's an ending here. See, there's an ending here with the Ten of Swords. So what does the King of Pentacles have to say? Lover's energy, Gemini energy, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Well, that's you. you. You could be the King of Pentacles making big decisions in your life about stability and money. And it may be a long-term financial future. That could be you in the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. You could have a King of Cups here. Um, you could be ending something here with another person or... Um, with an, with another partner that you were trapped into for a long time here with the Eight of Swords. Remember, the Eight of Swords is where you kind of get caught up in a relationship where um, you lose your own sense of identity. You lose who you are. Um, you can get caught up in a certain way of thinking or an abusive kind of thinking where you feel less than. You feel like you're trapped in a situation. And lots of times it's it's our own thoughts um, that trap us. We're not good enough to leave or we'll never find another situation. We'll be alone forever. Or um, I just don't have the strength. I just don't know who I am anymore. Lots of times we can stay in the eight of swords because we don't know who we are anymore. And somebody has taken away or we have allowed it to be taken away our own personal sense of strength. But we do see that you're in the Knight of pentacles energy and we see that you're here in the king of pentacles energy. So that's, that's how you're able to make changes in your life. When you take this masculine energy and you move forward, making important decisions about your long-term future, when you're in the king of pentacles, you can be analytical and rational about these kind of decisions and you can really move out of the eight of swords really effectively when you're in the king of pentacles because you can see the evidence you can see the details you can see farther down the road the king of pentacles is an investor he takes his energy and he looks into the future and he says okay if i stay at the curtain at the at this certain point in my life where will i be in 10 years if i stay where i'm at where will i be in 10 years if i stay where i'm at where will i be in five years where will I be in 15 years? And he looks at that and he says, because we have the eight of swords here, you see, that's why I'm going in this direction. He looks at it and he says, you know what? I don't like what I see. I don't like what I see. And there's something here with this lover's energy that has trapped him. So he could, um, this king of pentacles, I think it's you, Taurus, that's probably who it is here. Um, it is you taking action in your life. And you could be saying, you know what? Whatever I felt indebted to, whatever I felt tied to, it could have been a career. It could be, a certain group of friends. It could be a, a person that you um, maybe aren't even with, that you're connected to, right? That you somehow connected yourself to and trapped yourself in that. Maybe it's an old lover, or maybe it's an idea of a certain person out there for you that you felt um, yourself was were connected to, and that kind of kept you in this in this interesting thought pattern. That you know, you there's something. You know, this is a very very intense energy. It, it's like a, it's almost like a twin flame energy or an energy that is just out of this world kind of an energy, intensive. And, um, it's, it's hard to find this kind of a thing. And it's, it's hard to get this. It, this is a rare kind of energy. That's what I'm feeling that like this could have been. What is this? Let's look into the lover's energy and see what the lover's energy is here because it's next to the eight of swords. So something about it, um, perhaps has, has kept you trapped. It's because remember, we have the eight of swords and we have the 10 of swords. So it really could have kept you in a place emotional, uh, um, and mentally that affected your emotional center. And it's connected here with the lover's energy. So let's go deeper into the lover's energy and see what we can find now. Let's go deeper into the lover's energy. Five of Pentacles. Without someone. Out in the cold. Maybe you felt like you didn't have enough. Or maybe you somehow there was no money here. Because there was no money here, maybe there was no friendship here. Maybe you just couldn't find the person. Maybe there, maybe it's like there was a lack here. Whatever this lack was, lack of money, lack of confidence, 
um, being left out in the cold, not being able to find that person and being kind of trapped in that idea of finding this person with the lover's energy, whatever it is, this is, um, this is something that you were swimming around in. You were kind of trapped in this energy or you were stuck in this kind of energy. The eight of swords can be for a long time. We have the eight of swords and the 10 of swords. This could have been a very long period of time that you were here, whether you were trapped in your reality where you were actually trapped in a situation or whether this was something that you were trying to achieve, perhaps you have a certain standard of a person that you're waiting to meet and it's just never happening and never happening and never happening. And it, it kind of affected the way you thought about the world. It affected it the way you thought about yourself. Um, and it does, it, whatever it was, there is an ending now. It's like there is, there is an ending to this situation. And, and with that ending comes this action as you move forward. With this ending comes the action as you move forward. Let's see, what does what does the king what does the king of pentacles desire? What does the king of pentacles desire? Change, revision, change of beliefs, change of thought patterns, revising something in, in their life. This could have been really difficult. King of Wands, there you are. You could be moving forward from a king of wands because now we have this king of cups. You could be moving forward from um, a certain way of thought about a certain type of person. You could be changing the way you think about who you are attracted to or who fulfills you or who feels right with you. Remember, you're in the king of pentacles. King of pentacles thinks about the long-term future, long-term stability the resources that are around you, the comfort that's around you, the stability, the safety that's around you. So it's a different energy than the King of Wands. The King of Wands is all about this excitement, this charisma, this fire, this passion. Um, so it could be that you're really starting to find a different kind of personality that might you might be opening up to here. This could be a totally different person than the person in the general reading. This is an energy that you could be moving away from. And remember, we did have the four of cups in the general reading. So you could be realizing now a certain personality that might, as you learn and as you experience these, these situations, you can be finding that there might be a, another kind of personality that might fit with you um, better, that might be more stable or might be more long-term, might be much more of a long-term type of relationship. Uh, it might not be as flamboyant. It might not be as exciting and, or as enthusiastic or as passionate in the beginning, but it has a long-term, um, it, it has a long-term simmer. It's a, it's a simmering kind of energy, um, this King of Cups. And look, it's the King of Cups with the Page of Cups. So I'm really interested in seeing what this King of Cups has, King of Cups has to say. So let's go ahead now and um, look at this King of Cups energy. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Tell me more about the King of Cups now. Let me get my cards. I got so excited that my cards were. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Tell me more about the King of Cups, please. Okay, it's a totally different energy. So <clears throat> I might have to change my energy as I shuffle. <clears throat> a Knight of Wands. Nine of, King of Cups. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Look at, there, there's a lot to be said here. I think the energy is, it might be even new energy. It might be new energy. So it's, it's quite, whoa, see how... So that we have these four energies just fly out like this. Too many, too many. So let's just keep on going here. So there could be just a lot of new things popping off for you. The sun. King of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. 
So when we when we look deeper into the King of Cups, this is somebody who has wounds. This is someone who has um, been through been through a lot of experiences that, that have been hard for for him. Um, he does feel things very emotionally, very deeply, and he does have um, a lot of dedications to different things. So he has um, he has interests in the world. He has desires. Um, he has goals and objectives in his life. And I, I think that this is someone who ultimately um, is wounded, could be um, quieter energy, um, but does not run away, stays there for the for the long haul, stays for the good fight with the nine of wands. So this is somebody who might be quieter. This is someone who might be more protective about their information. Um, this is someone who might be someone that you might not notice right away. This is someone that might take a little bit of time to get to know the Nine of Wands energy, might have some pain there. This person might hide behind something that they feel very passionate about, a cause or a nonprofit or a business that they own or a hobby. They might kind of hide behind that for a little while. It might take a little time to kind of get to know this person. And this person might have wounds. They might have, you know, a little bit, they might have a little bit of defensive energy. But this person is, does have the sun. The sun comes out in, in explanation as we dig deeper into the King of Cups. The King of Cups energy here with the sun talks about um, a healing energy an energy of empowerment, an energy of optimism. This is probably a very healthy person who can think abundantly, who can think in a very positive way. This is a balanced person who understands the importance of a, a, um, a mindset that is a building mindset rather than a tearing down mindset. So this is about a mindset that this person has. And I think this person is probably strong. They're very strong and, and passionate um, when you get to know them. So this could be a quieter person. This could be somebody who could be a little bit of an introvert even, um, where they're quieter, they, they hold themselves back, they might be quietly intense. Um, and I think once you get to know this person, this person could have a, quite a lot of energy um, they could be very passionate about what they believe in. They could be very um, healing. Uh, they could they could be very uh, they could have a lot of vitality. Um, they could have an interest in healing in some way. But it's something that is uncovered in time. It's something that's uncovered in time. And as you uncover it, it gets more and more powerful as it's uncovered. And we do have the Ten of Pentacles here as well. So this is someone who really likes to feel stable and secure. Um, this is someone that might have a, a big family or might have a legacy um, that he or she lives within. Remember, the King of Cups doesn't have to be a man. It can be a woman, too. But it's someone out in the community doing things in the community or in the family or in the environment around him or her that helps bring um, a, a sense of, of freshness, um, that, that brings a, an energy of compassion for those people that are around him or her. Um, there's kindness that here with this person. Um, there's always a willingness to serve with the King of Cups energy. Um, and, and I do feel like this King of Cups understands the importance of, of a community energy, a family energy. Uh, I think this King of Cups understands the importance of safety, of feeling comfortable in life a feeling secure. And I think this person does like to feel secure. So this is somebody that um, will be very, um, will, their personality will be much healthier when they feel financial security around them. And so I think that this person does consider financial security and um, wealth of resources um, a very important thing in his or her experience. Um, so that's a little bit more about the King of Cups. What does the King of Cups have to say? What, what, let's see what this Ace of Swords, let's see how, look how this King of Cups is looking at this sword and look at, there's a page of cups here. So what does this King of Cups have to, have to say? Nine of Pentacles. 
Well, you know, there you are. Four of Wands. I mean, I think this King of Cups is coming forward with a message of stability. I mean, this could even be someone that you work with or that you're creating a contract with or um, having a work agreement with. Um, this is somebody that you're building something with. This could be someone in the community that you're building something with or or someone in your extended family that, you know, a friend of a, a cousin or something that um, there is a sense of stability around the family unit in a way. Um, the, I think this person is seeing you, seeing um, who you are and your inner strength and how attractive that is uh, in your own independence, in your own ability to make choices um, and live um, as 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 very co confidently as a single person. I think the King of Cups sees that Nine of Pentacles energy, um, sees that you have this energy of stability around you. Um, and I think that there is some sort of message here. Look at the Four of Wands on top of the Ace of Swords. There's some sort of message here about um, creating something together, something um, something sturdy, something that could be a foundation together. Tell me more now. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. I think uh, it'll be interesting to see how much more comes out. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Seven of Cups. Two of Wands. There might be a decision that needs to be made now as you get out into the future, Two of Swords. So now we have some two decisions. There might be something that comes forward here um, from the King of Cups because we have a Page of Cups here. Um, that's going to create some kind of a choice. We have two twos. So first of all, with the Ace of Swords, it's necessary. <coughs> it is necessary now to see the truth in something. There, there is something here that can no longer be denied. And now there is a need to make a decision. Which way do you go? Do you say yes or do you say no? Or how exactly do you do this? And I think there's a lot of different choices here with the Seven of Cups. Now, it could be a sort of emotional time where you could be feeling insecure about what to do because ultimately there's something here that you don't know about the King of Cups. You know, what what is being offered here? Is it going to be this kind of a situation or is it going to be this kind of a situation? Or what is the situation going to be? How will the experience be? I think it's more in, is this going to be a good experience for me or is it going to be a hurtful experience for me? Whether it's love or whether it's work or whether it's something else, what kind of an experience is this going to be? What is going to be in the cup? There is a lot to consider here. So there, there is an action plan that you're working now with connected to this Ace of Swords. This decision or this communication requires a decision. And um, we have truth here. Then we have twos, which talk about first having something happen that can no longer be denied. And then once you, you are able to see the truth of it, then you have to make a decision. Okay, now that you see the truth of it, now, you, now that you see it clearly in front of you, now what do you do? Because it's one thing to have a hope and have a dream and to think maybe it will happen. And it's a whole other thing to actually have it happen. And then all of a sudden you're in action now. What's the choice? Right. And so there is going to be a choice here about what you're going to do. And each one of you are going to do something different because we're all different. Right. We're all going through different kinds of experiences and we all have been through different kinds of journeys in our lives. In, in addition, um, you, you know, if you have Taurus in your sun sign, that's going to affect you differently than if you have Taurus in your moon sign or as a rising sign or as a Venus. Right. So it kind of depends on how your chart is, is, has been created for you, for you. Let's look at this page of cups now. Let's look deeper at, at the page of cups. Tell me more about the page of cups. Ten of cups. This is going to be happy and exciting here with the ten of cups. It might even be a little bit of a relief. It feels really nice. It's really happy. Ten of cups, seven of wands. Something about protecting that. Page of cups, um... Ten of Cups, a blitz, something blissful, something really happy, but the Seven of Wands is protecting it. So there could be somebody here wanting to protect this connection or wanting to um, um, there, there, there could be someone here that's, that's wanting to get to know you a little better. Um, this person could even be coming forward with some sort of 
message, but still being somewhat protective of who they are. So it could be a little confusing about what they're intending to do. Just know that this could be someone here um, in the wounded warrior kind of energy with the nine of wands. And now we have the seven of wands as well. There could be something that they're wanting to advocate for or protect too as well. Judgment energy. So whatever that they were waiting on or protecting, now there's a change to that. So something has opened up. And we do see that there is now truth here with this, with this, with the Ace of Swords. And we do see that there is um, some kind of message coming forward or somebody coming forward in an introductory kind of love energy. And, you know, somebody's moving forward here very passionately. At first, I thought maybe it was that King of Wands, but now I'm not quite sure. That King of Wands could have been attached to that Four of Cups. Um, that you are thinking, I'm not sure if I want to st stick my toe into this. You know, my toe has been bitten off before. So you only have 10 of them. And now you might have nine toes because maybe you stuck your toe into one of the cups and it was a king of wands. And that just wasn't a good fit for you, Taurus. So whatever is happening now, you could be moving forward with a lot of passion. You could be busy. You could be um, just living your life here and doing something different. And all of a sudden, here comes this king of cups connected to something new and different than you're doing. So you could very well be in the eight of eight, because here we have the King of Pentacles. So you could very well be being very busy in your life, very optimistic about your life, doing something different. And in that journey, here comes the King of Cups popping in. All right, my friends, I am, I am going to move to the extended now. We're going to look farther out into the future of this. And um, we'll look at the people around you as well and dig deeper into how they think about you. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the extended. Taurus, this has been a fun reading, super fun. And um, I, I wish you all the best. I hope you all stay well, stay healthy, um, stay sane. And I will see you back here in another seven days or so with another reading. Um, I think I will try to do these reading, these love readings every so often um, when, when the energy is there for me to do that. All right. Thank you, Taurus. It's, it's a pleasure to do this reading. Thank you.